I didn't think it was that much. Yeah. Can you count? One. Oh well, yeah. I guess that's all that matters if you're I counting a second. <laughs> well, I've got my uh, new Blade 350 QX3, and I went ahead and bought the camera and the gimbal for it. I just couldn't stand it; had to have it. So, <coughs> plus I crashed my other gimbal, and so anyway, we're gonna do a flight on it. We I did a maiden hover just a little bit ago. This is going to be actual first uh, hovering flight with it. We calibrated the compass and the accelerometer and all that. So Anyway, got it set up. Uh, gamble. I've got it set up to do the tilt with the uh, knob on my DX8. I set this up on my DX8 instead of my DX9. So, anyway, I'm going to fly it and see how she does. Let's start the video recording here. Okay, it's recording. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to put it in AP mode. Because, see, you got to get up. See, here's half throttle. See how high I have to get it? Look at that. Oh, yeah. And then once you get to where you, you want to hover, it back to middle. you bring it back to just above middle, and see, that's where it'll sit. So it's really strange. It feels different compared to the other. So, okay, we're in AP mode right now, and we've got the video right there. It's just super smooth. It is very smooth. Gonna pan a little bit there. And angle the camera down to get us. See how that looks. You can see us there. The camera facing straight down at the ground. Okay. I'm not going to fly out very far. That I know what will be recorded on the card will be smoother than what's recorded off Wi-Fi. Because when you turn just like that, Wi-Fi got a little choppy. But not, the quality wasn't compromised, it just got kind of choppy. Yeah. Like stuttered, you know what I mean? But I know what's recorded on the card will be just fluidly smooth. You're above the power lines now. And I'll start bringing it down because I know that battery, I haven't charged it in probably a week, so it's probably a little low on. I mean, it's got a full charge, but you know how it is after they sit for yeah, a while. I think I'm going to have to sell me some stuff and buy me one of them gimbals. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll sell my Hero 2 because I have my Hero 3. I'm going to keep that. 
Yeah, plus sell you can that. sell your one, you know, your 350. I'm not going to sell that thing, I don't think. No? I think I'll sell the idea fly. Really? Yeah. I thought you really liked that. I really do, but at one point, you know, it, it doesn't have return to home and things like that. Yeah. And any that's calibration true. I want to do, I got to hook it to the computer. I can't do it in the field other than just a, you know, right. a gyro calibration when you move the stick. This one's working very nice. So far, it seems to work better than the other ones. Yeah. Than just the QX352 or 350. And that gimbal is so smooth, you know, like when you're oh, yeah. <clears throat> when you're rotating like that and that, that gimbal just catches up with it real slow, you know, smooth. How's this look on the See them and everything? Yeah. And rotate the camera down and come back this way. You can just glimpse down at the phone. Yeah. Tablet, iPhone. Huh? How do you get on your iPhone? Well, my, this is my phone. This camera on the quad has a Wi-Fi set up on it, oh, okay. so it creates a Wi-Fi network. Like if you go over here and look at my tablet right there, I've got it recording. And you can see, um, see it's just sitting there. I love the way that thing is. Oh, and then, see if I see the camera lens on the front there, the black piece. See, I'm okay. angling it down. So now it's getting a, a view oh, of straight good. down to the ground. And then I can angle it up. Oh my goodness. And no matter what I do with the quad, see how the camera stays level? Wow. <laughs> so you can and if you watch the video on there, if you watch the video on there, I'll move it back and forth, and you'll see. Doesn't even move it. Wow, that's quite a hobby you got. And then, if you get like scared or something, and you're not sure where you're at, and you need to land, you just flip a switch. And it comes home. And I'm I'm not doing anything. It's doing it all on its own. Now the reason for the red ones in the black propellers is know which is front and which is back? That and it also, uh, one of them turn, they counter rotate. Like the two front ones will rotate in like this and the two back ones will rotate like that. And that's what keeps it stable, helps it to stabilize itself. Yeah. 